My name is Francesca Filance. I was born in Los Angeles, and as a young child, my parents moved to Del Mar, California, a beautiful little town on the ocean in North San Diego County. I started painting as a young child. My mom felt that I had a talent for art and I just loved to paint. And I started and I didn't stop. I used to paint still lives and flowers, but now after different life experiences, I have turned abstract. I felt a turning point many years ago when I was being filmed uh, and I just went abstract. I had painted a painting in oils of flowers and it just didn't feel right to me. And I just started going with a palette knife all over and, and went abstract. And it's been a progression of that ever since. One of the wonderful things when I'm painting, many times I get my inspiration from nature. Um, I love to travel, I love to swim, I love to snorkel. And one of my passions is fly fishing that you can see on my website, my blog. I've written articles about it. And I'll come home from a trip and I will paint from that experience. One time when I was getting ready to have a group of paintings in Art Basel, I painted till 4 a.m. and I actually fell asleep. And when I woke up, there was turquoise paint on my shoe. <laughs> so when I am painting, I'm in the zone. And many times I love to paint all night long, deep into the night with rock and roll music. Um, and sometimes in the daytime too. This painting behind us, by the way, I recently did, it's part of my new collection. And the name of it is Shangri-La. And I named it that because it gives me such peace and joy. Every time I walk in to this room, the painting feeds me. I also don't have a problem with knowing when a painting's done. I know a lot of artists have a problem with that. For some reason, I know when it's done and I stop. And then when I look at the art, it's as if somebody else painted it. It gives me a lot of joy as well. I feel that my art is alive. If you shine a light up into the heavens, the light goes on forever. And some people have art that's alive. And when it does that, it gives it a special quality.